Hey guys, it's Angel B here and in today's video we are going to be looking at some more Minecraft mods. This video is going to be the top 10 Minecraft mods I have found that are simple and that just make sense. They are small additions to the game that fit in with the game and make it more exciting. So before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. It really means a lot to me and it helps out my channel. It makes it so I can do this more often. I also live stream. Links will be in the description to follow my Twitch because I will be streaming on Twitch and YouTube every, almost every Saturday and Sunday and I might stream Friday. I will have a schedule probably coming soon, so be sure to look out for that. So let's get right into the video. This next mod is called Ender Chested, and once you tame a horse by keep right clicking on the horse till it loves you, like this, you can place an ender chest on the horse by right clicking, and you will have an ender chest inventory in your horse. So you can access your ender chest from anywhere. So this next Minecraft mod is called Goblin Trader. Now this adds a goblin that you can find underground and you can trade with him for some really cool stuff. There is also a nether version of him which gives you nether stuff which you can find in the nether. So this next Minecraft mod is called Gravestone. Wherever you die it will spawn a gravestone when you die. You'll get this item here. It will tell you your coordinates your name it'll tell you what items you had on you and then you can find your death you can find your gravestone pretty easy so here is my gravestone you can break it and you'll get your items back so this next minecraft mod is called potion descriptions if you aren't sure what a potion does you can click shift on the potion and it'll tell you what it does so this next minecraft mod is called sword displays and this lets you display your swords there is two types sword display and a display case in different colors. So this next Minecraft mod is called Pretty Pipes. Now this adds a pipe to the game as shown here. It's a very simple mod. It adds one pipe, but it does add quite a lot of different um, modules, which can increase the speed of items moving through pipes. It adds filters, pipe frame. It adds a terminal and a crafting terminal. So you just set up your pipes, whoever you would like. Here we have a chest set up with iron in. The iron comes out and ends into the furnace. It has to be from under. Let's put in the extraction module and that will pull out the iron from the furnace. So you could set up some really high elaborate automatic smelting. So this next mod is called storage overhaul. Now this adds some more storage options to the game, such as these barrels here, which have different tiers. We have a gold tier, which has more space. Diamond tier, which has even more space. We have chests two, tier one. This is regular. This is a tier three chest. Here's all the variants here. We have iron tier one, gold tier two, and diamond tier three. So this next Minecraft mod is called a tool belt. There is also a belt pouch. You can mix this with a tool belt and you can upgrade the slots to have more slots. You click V, you can put the tool belt on this inventory slot right here. And then if you click R, you can switch between the tools that are in the tool belt. This next Minecraft mod is called Weapon Throw. Now this makes it so you can throw your weapons, such as this axe right here. I'm going to throw it at a villager. You, The key is set to Y, but you can change it. And I miss the villager completely. But if you hold it down, it goes further and let go. And then you can throw your axe and pick it back up. So this next Minecraft mod is called Updated Netherite. Now this adds some more tools and armor to the game that has more use for netherite. It adds some more ingots to the game, such as gold upgraded netherite, which is crafted by netherite and gold. We have fire, which is blaze rod, ender upgrade, ender pearls water upgrade, wither upgrade, poison, phantom, and feather. Now they all have different effects, such as the gold one has these bonus things here. The water one has those bonus. Poison adds a potion effect, a poison effect. Phantom, all living entities around you will start growing. And the feather one attracts items near you. And the same for the armor, they all have different effects. It also adds horse armor too, which gives your horses different effects. Now this next mod lets you obtain statues. And there are so many different types, like all these here, different colored sheep. And they are items that you can collect. They look super cute. 
to have on display. Some of them have different effects. This mod also adds some Easter egg statues to the game, which I'm not gonna show you how to obtain, but it also adds display stands where you can display your trophies. And the final mod I have to show you is called Panda's Creatures, Pandora's Creatures. Now this one is a bit more of a not simple mod, but some of the creatures it adds are really pretty. I've done a review on this before, but I wanted to do it again to show more people what type of stuff it adds. It adds all these different types of floras here. It adds these troll boxes. It adds some new creatures such as a seahorse. Now this is the main reason I always get this mod because who doesn't want seahorses in the game? There is already loads of fish in the game, so why not just add some seahorses to go with the fish? And this mod does that perfectly. But it doesn't stop there. It also adds some other stuff, such as this buffloon. It adds this really spooky thing. An entral, but there is also this creature here, which is the acidic archi archvine spawn egg, which spawns in jungles on jungle trees, and it is just so like unusual. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll leave all the links to the mods in the description and their timestamps for all information and full features on these mods. Please check the links. They all have it on the mod page. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.